Hello, Monsters of Banhead, and welcome back to Distant Miles 2, where we're gathering the fleets for a fleet action. Well, a armada action, actually. We're, we're gathering everyone, literally everything. Everything we've got is currently meeting around Serunia 2, because we found something big and nasty in the depths of space. And we're going to do something about it. We're going to kill it. Uh, propose a gift to those guys. I could, I guess. I'm not super... What? What do you want? Military refueling... My... Really? Wait, who the fuck are you guys? You guys... These guys? You're these guys. Why do you want to like... Who are you at war with? You're rampant! Who the fuck are you... Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at all this stuff. Uh, Can I have all your tech? Tell you what, um... Never mind about that. What about if... Can I have all your technology? In exchange, I'll give you... Like, water colonization? Hmm. How... Would you Would you like to know the culture and customs of the... Of the Hakonish? Looks like they'll accept it. Idiots. Uh, sure. No deal. No dice. Alright. Jerks. Uh... You want to give... A, oh, oh. Uh, you, I could give you... Yeah, I'll give you money. Sure. What do we get? Enhanced torpedoes. Nice. Improved missiles. Nice. You also... I don't know if I want... Oh. This is interesting, because I, I went away, and I've come back, and suddenly everyone's like, Hey, uh, do you want all this stuff? I'm, I'm starting to wonder whether there was a patch. I'm suspecting there probably was. Because... Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> before they were like nothing. They did not like they loved us, but they didn't want to give a shit. And now they're a bit like, yeah, why not? It's, it's fucking amazing, isn't it? Uh, good. All right. Well, as long as as long as you chill. Uh, cool. I don't want that though. I'm gonna say no to that. I'm gonna say no to that. Right. Uh, fleets. Where are we? So we're still waiting for. The Crimson Conflict. God damn it, Crimson Conflict. Get a fucking... Yeah, fucking move on. Is everyone else here? I think everyone else is here. Oh. Uh, nope. Discarded Affliction, apparently. The battleship is on its way. As is Tenacious Empress, which is a... Is that a fueler? Yes. It is. It is. It's a fuel ship. Okay, that's fine. Wait, are you trying to transfer fuel to... Discard. Where are you going? To Lethal Triumph. Well, look, I don't look. I don't want to beat around the bush here, but Lethal Triumph is around a space station, so they can refuel regardless. Well, I think other, you know people are going to take too long to get around here, and we all, we already know there's another hive ship over here somewhere. So we need to get a, we need to get a fucking move on, don't we? Uh, so I believe we can probably track down where this thing was. Where were you, you little monkey? There. You're there. You are there. I found you. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one. It's around here. This one. I found you, little shit. There you are. You are there. Right. Okay. So, all fleets. All fleet. Now, I'm just... I'm going to hedge my bets. Just converge at this location. So, all ships converge there. So, we're going to get them to uh, all jump out. There they go. They're on their way. Traveling over. I'm sure they've got the fuel for that. It's probably fine. And, oh, I, I, I just love this. I just love watching all my little ships going around, doing stuff. Will the patch fuck us over? I don't know. Um, fuck no. What, what are we researching? Temperate colonization. Yeah, why wouldn't we do that? Why, why would, why, 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 why? The other thing I should probably do is actually, like, get some, um, I should concentrate my technology. I've, I've been kind of, like, spreading, spreading my desires across the tech tree, and I should probably concentrate on, like, getting some particular techs, like, uh, maybe, you know, going for efficient beam weapons, or recovering advanced ion weapons, for example. That might be quite fun. 
advanced torpedo. And we got the we got the enhanced torpedo. We could go advanced torpedoes, couldn't we? We we we, we do have the the firestorm torpedo, which is probably better than anything else we've got, so that's probably fine. Uh, but maybe like projectile batteries, rail guns. Do we like rail guns? I mean, I do. Ooh, yes. Uh, intensified shield strength could be quite nice. We're kind of going for the uh, the hyperdrive there, which is fine. Uh, maybe some better like shooty tack ship thingies. Advanced construction seems good. Could potentially go for that one. Um, did we, did we, did we get any armor? Hang on, where's, where's armor? Where, uh, uh, see, we've only got one. Of, I, I believe because we've got the, the randomized techs on, basically we could protect, we, like we need to advance tech, grab something else and that will then potentially lead on to getting the armor, but I don't know how to get there at the moment. Um, I think so. Otherwise maybe we can't get better armor. Genuinely don't know. Not sure. We've got a bunch of like tech down there. I could get the super dense storage. Like, more fuel is always good, isn't it? That's going to take six years. That's nothing. Six years. And you're carrying out... So you're just sabotaging people, are you? Okay, fine. You do You do whatever you like. What the fuck? What are you doing over here? You're just chilling out around a big old star, are you? Alright. Alright. You do you. Okay, so we know there's someone around here. Also, are there any other... What what colonies do we have here? Could we get any... Uh, let's have a look. Suitability. No, distance from spaceport is probably best. So there's nothing really super close. There's a 17 there, which is maybe... There's one down there, but you are quite far away. I don't think we have... I don't think we have the... Um... Oh, critical research. Nice. And we've got a new scientist. Is he drunk? Probably. What are you doing? You've got good stuff. You've got good stuff. Uh, um, right, ambassadors. Ambassadors are looking good. Our leader, Thyrus, looking amazing. Fantastic stuff. Generals, you are drunk, but you're both a good recruiter and good ground logistician, so I'm like, that's fine. You are also drunk, but you're good across the board. So I guess as long as you're... I mean, yeah, you like a drink, but that's fine. As long as it doesn't... As long as you're a functioning alcoholic, that's fine. I don't really... I don't really mind so much in that case. Um, that's, that's generally fine, I think. Probably. I don't know. Is it important that... I bet, bet some of the best generals in history were off their tits most of the time. Bonaparte, Patton, the other guys, all of them. Oh, an ancient human industrial world ruins. Where the hell's this? No suitability. Where the hell are you? Uh, down there. Well, I guess we'll investigate. May as well. In the ancient human industrial world ruins, we have made a curious discovery. The planet's spinning, spanning ruins on this world show that this was once a highly populated and advanced industrial world focused on manufacturing of all kinds of technologies for the ancient human solar republic. There is clear evidence of a massive sudden cataclysm which struck it, followed by many smaller events over the centuries. The Arnex storms this planet and within the system appear to be remnants of that cataclysm. No life remains on the surface, although countless remains of ancient humans and various wildlife are evident. The planet itself has been nearly torn apart by past massive seismic events. In its present state, it would be very difficult for life to return and survive. Slash N slash N. The ruins... The ruins... <laughs> Also proved to be an abundant source of several important and valuable resources. From the remains, coordinates for uh, another location of significant interest are also discovered. Uh, we maybe we should send a ship to investigate its location. We found valuable treasure worth 100,000. Uh, expanded troop transports. There's a nice resort place. That's nice. Uh, good. Good. There we go. Found some, found some good shit there. That's nice to know. Right, my fleet is currently on its way. So we believe they are there. So you are jumping that way. That's fine. So we're all going to jump in around about here. So we should arrive. Okay, some ships have now arrived. They started arriving at the location, which is exactly what we want. 
Just want to make sure they don't jump away and do some weird shits. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Come on. In your own time. In your own time. Fleet one. Right, we'll wait for everyone to gather. Here they come. This is just in case. We might be absolutely fine. I genuinely don't know. Because this is quite a strong... Uh, where are we? Last scene... Did it say currently visible? Previously, it did say currently visible. I've, I've put it by strength, and I'm fairly sure 66,000 is stronger than 2,000. That's my guess. Maybe we do... What is this? Is it like a creature? Ships. There we go. Okay. So, there was one that said it was like literally currently visible. I can't remember what, what, what planet it was around. Was it Rishi 4? I think it was Rishi 4. I believe it was Rishi 4. So we're just going to wait for everyone to arrive. There's the bulk of the fleet finally turning up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Everyone... Going to jump in here and hope for the best. Where the... Hang on. Why? G g guys. Guys. The fuck is this? <laughs> I'm not, I didn't ask... I didn't say go the scenic route, did I? Do you have to go that way? What the fuck are you going that way for? It's weird. I don't know how to do that before. Oh well. I guess everyone will turn up around about on time. Okay, and then you'll jump back, will you? Yeah, okay. No, you're jumping that way now. Well, I guess some of the fleet's going to have to engage it by themselves, waiting for the rest of the buggers to turn up. An independent colony? I don't care. They're probably friggin' miles away. I just don't know if he's still here. He might not be. Anyone home? Hello? Terrifying entity. I've come to say hello. I'm fairly sure I'll be able to see it. I mean, I'm in scanning range. An ancient space station. That's, oh, that's a Tekken. Tekken station. Uh, sure, investigate. We've discovered a field of space debris in the Vigisu system. It appears to be the remains of a battle. The wreckage includes powerful military ships that look salvageable. We should send construction ships. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Investigation results. We have to investigate an ancient medium spaceport, Solanis, at Buroi. The medium spaceport is damaged and currently inoperable. However, we could acquire it by sending a construction ship to repair it. It is a curious discovery. The station belonged to the Tekans during the time of the Shakturi War. It appears to have been dedicated to ship construction. There are two damaged destroyers in orbit. More interesting, we've discovered a functioning android, much like a biological Tekan in appearance. It calls itself the Appraiser and claims it was left behind in error by the fleeing Tekan Exodus. It knows little of war, but says it could be a great service to us in matters of research and trade. Well, there we go. So it's like anyone home. It doesn't look like it. Wherever this hive ship is, it's buggered off. Well, maybe it's someone else's problem. Oh, I do like the way the ships jump in. That's just... Is that, is that... Oh, oh, that's sexy. That's very sexy. I love it a lot. Okay, well... I don't know where this hive bloke's gone. He's buggered off. He was here a second ago. Is he over there now? Do we have the fuel to get over there? Yes, probably, is the answer. Because, right, where... 
There's one down there, apparently. Won't worry about that. That one over there, that probably is a concern. One apparently over here. I guess, do we go and hunt it, see if it's there? And we do have a mining station here. Or we had a mining station here. Do we go over and see if we can find him? It's worth a punt, isn't it? Okay, let's send everyone to here. Let's make sure you are going to the right place. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Good, good. I don't know why they have to jump down here and then across there. Like, they didn't have to do that before, did they? Did they? Not sure. Anyway, right, we've got... Uh, Temporal colonization research complete. So it's going to make our planets a little bit more colonizable or survivable or whatever. And that's good because we don't want people to die on our planets. Ideally, anyway. Uh, that's the dream. I'm going to go now. We've, we've, got, we've got the torpedoes, right? So I'm going to go torpedoes. I'm also going to go... Do I go... Ooh, mass driver. It's a large weapon, so I'm guessing that's for like... It's for like bombardment stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. I know, it's fine. Uh, Maneuverable, don't need that. Increase maneuverability. Mm, mm, do I want that? Don't know. Monitoring stations. You know what? Let's get monitoring stations. Let's get large scale, scale construction and... Yep, let's grab that as well. Advanced mining. Yes. Oh, you know what? Power, high power extractors. Nothing better than extracting at high power. No, I don't want to give those guys that stuff. I just don't like them that much, to be brutally honest. I'm a little bit worried about these this guy over here because there's a couple of planets nearby. I'm hoping that if that high fleet decides to do something, it goes somewhere else. Um... I don't want to get into a war with you or alongside you because I don't like you that much. Well, we're here. Is that hive ship around? I can't see it. Any sightings? Not a sausage. Well, God knows where it's gone. It was definitely hanging around. Wait, what's that? That is... Nope, that's not a hive ship. Okay, well... I looked. I couldn't find it. I did my best to hunt down and exterminate a monstrous space entity, but apparently he's buggered off, so... I don't know. Space entities. You can't trust them these days. I do like all my ships, though. Like, that is... super cool. Okay, well... I guess we just head back to base, because... Like we've got we've got scans all over here and he's just not nowhere to be found. Wait, hang on. There he is. There he is. There's a little shit. Where where is he? There he is. Found you, you little bastard. Right. I knew you were around here somewhere. Right, get him, lads. Where's he going? What's he off to? Where's he going? What? Is he chasing someone? Alright, we'll keep an, up, keep an eye on him. Right, he's there. We know where he is. Where is he get Unknown mission. He's jumping. Where the fuck is he jumping? Oh, he's attacking. He's attacking. What's he at? Is that, my, is that mine? <gasps> you motherfucker. He's attacking my goddamn stack. Right, get over there, lads. No mission. Oh, you got sight of him. Right, come over here. Right, everyone, get... Hurry up. That, they will blow up my station 
What is that? Oh, debris. <laughs> Evidently, he's been busy. I don't think we're going to save my station somehow. We're on our way. What ship is that? Is that just the six? Is it the, the entirety of the six feet? It's got to be the capital ship, isn't it? Do you, do you, you don't have any fuel left, so that's why you're moving so slowly. That explains it. Right, what are you doing? Are you just, like, moving very slowly towards the station? You're not the biggest threat, are you? I'll level with you. Like, very ominous, but you're going to take friggin' ages to get over there. And I think, I think our fleets are starting to arrive. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. Hello? Okay, here they come. Finally! God! Oh, you... Oh, there you go. Get them, lads! Ah, oh, got you now, you little shits. I mean, how dangerous can this thing be? Well, it's blown up one ship. Okay, everyone attack that thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's somewhat outnumbered, to be fair. We do have those Firestorm torpedoes. What the hell is that? Oh, did it board? Oh, it's good at boarding, I guess. That would make sense. But it's taken an absolute beating. Its shields are almost down. It's going to start taking damage to its weapon. It looks like it's it's pretty good, like, close in, but not particularly good far away. Oh, its armor's down. And now that... Oh, it, yeah, it looks like its shields are probably more impressive than anything else it's got. That is taking a lot of damage, and down he goes. Uh, you know what? He, he wasn't as tough as he'd looked. I wonder if there's any good debris there. Uh, right. All the ships can then do your defense. So you go defend. You go defend. You go defend. You are invade. Attack. Attack. Right. You lot can find your way own, own way home. And pick up some of this debris while you're at it, because I bet it's done some good shit there. Look at this engine, it's huge! All right, good job saving the station. What are we mining here? Uh, Bifurian silk. Well, the fashion world thanks you for your service. Hang on, what's all that? Oh, there are bombers. Our little bombers heading back to crushing fire. Because I guess that's got eight interceptors, eight bombers. Yeah, there we go. Waiting for his boys to come home. Bless. All right, well, success, which is good. We're going to go do some refueling and stuff. That's fine. We'll leave, we'll leave them to go and do refueling. No problem. Good job, everyone. We do have another one over here to kill, which um, yeah, we'll, we'll get on that in a second. Well, I've just made friends with the United Torias Group, the Tekken Realm, the Tier Major Republic and the Zartan Minor Confederacy, which means I can now see all of their stuff on top of everything else, which is a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I guess we kind of created like a nice little block of friends. And um, I think the people down here might be the cranky ones. Um, but now at least we can see what they're up to because we're sharing all of their, their map data. So that's fun. It is quite laggy though. <laughs> 
I think I can probably make that better by um, turning off. Some, uh, sure, we'll investigate that one. It's a ship, good, okay, good. What do you want? Human Republic leader killed. Oh, oh, a revolution, oh dear. That, what, are you stealing research from me? The Human Republic and the Ota's Junk, oh, you little shits. Um, yeah, I think I can turn, if I turn off, I think there's a way I can turn off, like, um, civilian ship icons somewhere. I think. Uh, military ships? Maybe that? Well, let's find out. I'll, I'll fiddle with it. It's fine. No one panic. Oh, we found an abandoned ship, and it's a colony ship. With millions of Shandars sleeping in stasis hibernation. Okay, interesting. So, if we construct this, that means we'll get those 34 million Shandars. We could dump them on a planet and be like, yeah, you're, you're part of our empire now. And that should then... Allow us to colonize some different planets. Maybe? I also found out how to turn on... Oh, there we go. So, right, it's operational. So, therefore, if we go to colonies... And we go to... Do we have... Oh, it doesn't serve for Shandals, which is... Weird. What do they prefer... Let's find out. So, we'll go to Alien Races, Shandar. There we go. So... They get modifiers for... Vol right, so volcanic planets, basically. So, if we go for volcanic... Are there any volcanic planets nearby? No. Okay, what about sulfur volcanic? No, not one. Holy shit. Uh, what about, like, dis right, distance from... Wow, really? Not a one? Carborosaurus? Kept that one. Yikes. Okay, well, we are not, not doing great for the old colonite. Well, we've got 34 guys in stasis, and I don't really know what to do with them. Um... Hmm. Good. This is fine. Well, things have been pretty quiet. I've changed the, changed the thingy. The you can change the color of the UI, which is nice. Um, that's good. We found some more hive ships, but they're like over here somewhere, like miles and miles. Away. It doesn't seem like there's anyone actually here. This seems completely empty, and uh, we're kind of friends with our neighbors. So, there's not really much to worry about. And these guys, I mean, these guys down here are belligerent, but they don't have, they've been fighting these guys for so long, I think they're just, they just, they don't have much left. I think maybe, maybe I screwed up when I made the colony distance so far. Because, like, having grabbed that one, I wonder if that's maybe dicking over their economy. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. But similar with this over here. Uh, the Tekans seem to be doing... In fact, we have a look at the victory conditions. We can see the Tekans are doing very, very well for themselves. I am third from the bottom. Um, but that's fine. You get different victory conditions depending on sort of uh, who you are. So, for example, for the humans, you need to get just like 15% earn the most trade income. 20% destroy more enemy ships and bases than you lose. 50% uh, earn more tourist income in the galaxy, all that kind of stuff. And obviously, for like the Tekans, it's things like start the fewest wars in the galaxy, have the most non-aggression packs in the galaxy, destroy the most Vordikars, uh, gain the most research from salvage. So obviously, they're doing quite well because there's they, they haven't started any wars. Um, they have a lot of non-aggression. It, it's very quiet in the galaxy. I don't know. I mean, I, the... The aggression was set up, but maybe it needs to be, like, tweaked more? Because everyone seems pretty chill. 
at the moment. Like people are furious with each other, but they're just not going that one that one extra step. Um, there's not much war in the galaxy, truth be told. Lots of uh, restricted trade agreements. Um, so the the red guys and the purple guys are at war, which is makes sense. But there doesn't seem to be much going on. Like, I can kind of see their borders. Like, these guys, they definitely, like, they've got the fifth invasion fleet there. They're not really doing very much, and I don't know why. But again, it could be because I set the colony width. I'm tempted to maybe start a new campaign and see how it goes. Because I think maybe, like, th this was an interesting little try. But I think, I mean, one, I think we screwed... We, we kind of got screwed over because there were just no colonies near us. I mean, look at these. These guys got loads. They started off with loads of colonies near them. Uh, these guys started off with quite a few. Um, we started off with very, very few. And uh, so struggled to find... Um, we kind of got a bit of a late expansion, to be honest. Plus, I've learned lots of stuff. I wouldn't put all of our derelicts in different fleets. I put them in the same fleet because you can't upgrade those ships. Plus... I would try and be a little bit more controlled about what I'm researching. So I think I would stick with particular research, but rather than sort of like spread my research, I'll try and stick to sort of getting like, you know, advanced missiles or going for uh, massive projectile batteries or something like that. So trying to, trying to stay down one path and not sort of spreading myself out. Also, I probably wouldn't go with um, randomized technology because not, not having any armor probably not a good thing and i haven't I, I don't i don't even know if i can research that later on i haven't seen it that's the only problem so i don't know if it exists or not so i might turn that off just so that it's sort of like more I, d I don't mind if there's ways you can get that technology but it feels like there's not so i don't know maybe that so i think what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna start a new campaign i'm gonna start a new campaign and I'm going to tweak the settings so it's a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more compact. I think that's maybe what what we're going to do, because uh, yeah, I've, I I think I think this is a problem, right? They shouldn't be spreading out that far like that. That is that's I mean this this is insane. That that shouldn't be. They shouldn't be doing that kind of shit. And uh, so I think I think that might be causing them problems. I think they're exp I think they're, ex they're trying to expand in too many directions, maybe. Maybe don't know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start a new Distant Miles Two campaign because I have thoroughly enjoyed this, but I think my starting settings may have dicked me over. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.